Okay, hey everybody. Um, I'm doing a video on how to use the football template. Um, I got a lot of stuff up on my screen, guys. Hold on just a second. I'm trying to close some of this stuff off so I can I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so. Um, we're working on a football. We're working on ensuring that uh, we we get all the show you how to use the football. Um, There's gonna be a second video to show how I actually put it on the football, but this is uh, just a video on how I create the design for the football. As you see, that there's a blue area. Uh, kind of teal area whatever blue area that that's the safe area what the safe area means that that's where you set all your pictures all your words anything of importance you put it in that area that's that's where that's where it doesn't get cut off if we need to cut or trim it down um, that ensures that everything is, is within the the good surface of the football you know it contours it kind of curves so you want to make sure that you get everything and it's not being um, overstretched or anything like that. If it sits in this area, then stretching does not occur. Uh, distortion does not occur. So th that's where you want to put your pictures and your word in that area. The gray area around that is the actual slice of the football. So um, as you can see in my little diagram that there's the laces on the top. I usually rotate the ball and there are two flat spaces on the back of the football that I actually use you can do one space or you can do two spaces it's totally up to you I offer my customers one or two spaces but it, you know with the more spaces it costs more so that is what we are gonna attempt to do today let's see can I do this uh, without um ruining my video without ruining my video that my video is still recording ah okay and my video is still recording so we have two halfway decent pictures here the, I don't know if you can see my mouse on the screen but the picture on the left over here of the screen it's really white it's really not a good picture I'm gonna do my best with it um, to try to clean it up and then I have this one right here now there's a software I usually use to take out the background it's called let's see can I get to it photo scissors it's called photo scissors I'm trying to move this out of the way and it's not moving okay there we go photo scissors um, as you can see I already used it for somebody else and it cuts the background out of all of these pictures you hit upload upload image and then I go into the file I don't know if y'all can see any of this on the screen I'm gonna have to go back and watch it and if if you can't then I'll do a voiceover and and fix this uh, so you can see it so I'm gonna go ahead and see can I find those pictures I was just looking at I have so many I do so many things so many people and I save so many pictures of things that I want to do later so I have so much stuff okay pick on one the other one shouldn't be far behind I must have missed it we'll do this one okay so upload the picture and it usually removes pretty much much of the background for you see that boom done I didn't really have to do anything looks really good to me hit save download and low resolution because that's free and move on to the next one so upload let's see can I find the other one like I said I don't know if you can see any of this if you can't see this then I'll re-edit this video and do it do it a different way so to make sure you can see this still and the picture again I really should save this stuff as names 
and most time I do but people send me pictures all day long for some reason or another here's the other one there we go so like I said boom it automatically takes it out for me I really don't have to do anything and we're done with that part okay so we click back over here all right so this is the first thing I do when I'm working with this I ungroup because it's an SVG it comes in different take the best the football part out I don't need that and I don't need this so that means I'm left with these two pieces I don't need this word so I release the compound path on that keep this part out of the way and so now I'm just left with that football slice okay now um, it's always important to measure your football okay I'm use I can use a mini football um, you can use different football from different places they're not all created the same so when people get in my inbox and say well what the dimensions are you using it doesn't matter because if the my ball is not the same ball that you might be using measure yourself it's not hard get a tape measure measure yourself make sure that it's the right size okay we're gonna delete these because well let me undelete that all right let me show you something else before before we go any further this particular picture the one that's sitting on the right with him sitting with his legs up you know holding the football actually silhouette does a great job of cleaning stuff out itself so you can hit the trace menu to open the trace panel select the trace area and you can trace and detach this yourself increase the threshold so it just includes him as much as you can get it out and trace and detach you may lose some pieces but not much I'm gonna show you how to do this really quickly silhouette does a great job of, of cleaning out its own I lost some of his shoe and some of his pants um, it's okay that's okay I'm, I could put it back we can put it back when we do the design we actually can put it back now I would offset him pull the offset all the way in 0 0.05 point, point 0 0.05 pull the offset all the way in 0 0.02 And that'll bring his shoe back if I can get the offset right might have to offset your offset And that's what I usually do. Okay. If I'm not talking out, it's because I'm working. So don't hold it against me here. So either you can get his shoe pretty much cleaned up, or you can just sit him in an offset and your shoe doesn't even matter. Or you can fade him out and put some words on top of his feet and you don't even see it like it it doesn't matter like whatever you choose choose to do that's that's you know I can make it larger in the offset now and really deal with some of that but still you get a shoe back so that's another way of doing it if you can get it cleaned and done correctly that's another way of cleaning the pictures out but remove the, the the website that I showed you is pretty much the best way to 
to get that done. All right, so now we're to the point of the football. Now, what I usually do is pull in a background because people always ask, how do you create the background? I have some backgrounds that are already prepared that I already have on hand. I think that's glitter. Hold on. Found something for a boy. I have so many girly backgrounds. Like really girly backgrounds. Um, and I really do a lot of as you can tell, I do a lot of family stuff, so I have to find me a good background. All right, let's, okay, let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way. Let's say I don't have a great background, so I say, um, royal, oh, right here, royal blue background. Pull it right up from Google. Pick something with something that's actually big and it has uh see it this is 450 by 300 it's not really big enough you want something that says like 1200 like good aspect ratio on it and it's pretty big so it look it comes out it doesn't comes out pixelated or, or see this one is a thousand so i would pick this one and then I would hit paste. Copy and paste. So when I enlarge it, it's not so pixelated. So bring to the front, left click, bring to the front, and then reduce the size so you can get, and I would probably move it to the top to get some of this gradient that it has around it. And you just crop it. You go to the modify panel and you click crop. That is it. That is all you do. You pull a background in from Google or when you have saved. You go to the modify panel, which is this square with the circle with the little piece in the middle here. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but you go to the modify panel here and you click crop and you crop it out. And that's it. And you have your background. You have it. And then you go to file and you go to merge and you bring in those pictures that you cleaned out. So there's one. Right? And here's the other. Okay. You got, you got two two good pictures here. Two good cleaned out pictures. So then here we go. Now we start the designing process. Okay, so um, I got to decide where I'm going with this and I, I'm pulling up right now, excuse me for a second while I pull up his information and make sure I type in everything that I need. So um, or what I'm going to do, how I'm going to go with the football. All right. So this is, I think, like a graduation present for for one of my customers. I think she's giving it to him as a as a graduation gift. Excuse me for my emails popping through. Um, should have turned them off. Let me see. Can I turn them off? All right. Okay. So as I told you before, this is this is my bring to the front. This is my space. This is the space I get to work with right here. So I kind of want as much as I can in the, in this space and it makes it look good. Let me see, can I zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm working with. So I'm going to take him. Let's do this picture first. I'm going to do this picture first. Okay, so this one I'm going to do graduate and I'm just going to build so this is you ultimately just build on top of each element 
and I know people like if if you don't really have a uh, designing background, this part may be hard because you really have to have an eye for what you're looking for or for what you're doing. You have to kind of know where you're going with this with this design, and so. And I, say, I just take different elements. You don't have to do the same things that I'm doing. I'm just building on stuff that I just have already saved and things that I just like for me to to use. Um, I'm looking for cancel. So, things like this, metallic silver background. If you have Photoshop, you can make these things happen without using the stuff that I'm using. See, this was a great picture. It's 3,000 to 2,000. So, I, uh, you know, so I copy that, paste it. Boom, see how huge it comes in. Just a huge picture. And then I pull my graduate on on top of it, enlarge it as well, just so I can get all the good color. And I crop and group it back. And there you go. That's that's it. And so it's in my safe space, right? It's in my safe space. You move this out of the way so you can kind of see. As you're developing, you use, I kind of put this back and forth just to make sure that I'm staying kind of, my important stuff stays within this area. So you'll see me take it out and put it back and take it out and put it back. So after I get finished with that, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So, um, lightning bolts, clouds. They come in PNGs. You guys can Google this stuff. Google this has so just a mini, and I save it. I actually save a lot of this stuff, so I put in smoke, and I have all different color smokes. I have swirly smokes. I have all kind of different smoke. I say clouds. Like say you say you want to say clouds, and I have all kind of clouds. So when you guys come across this stuff or you look up this stuff, save it, save the cloud, save, save the stuff so you can, um, use it later. Um, let me see if it's, I have a memorial folder too, I think. That has, okay, so no, my clouds are all together. So all my clouds are together. Okay, so I will take this cloud. And I know it looks like nothing, right? But you can change the cloud as you need to. I have some more. Here are lightning bolts, right? It's a PNG. Looks like these. This is what it looks like when you pull it in. But it's not gonna look like that when you put it, when you, like I said, when you put all the elements together, it forms a picture and then you're like, okay, this is, this is awesome. So when you see it together, it looks great, you know, it looks like, okay, what is this? You know, it doesn't look like you know, it looks like it's one thing or that you found the one picture. No, it's different elements that have been put together to create this picture. I'm just pulling in different elements right now. Just different stuff that I have and then I'll create what I want as I pull it in. Looking for more smoke or clouds or something like that. I had some other. 
the smoke clouds that uh all right so i'm just gonna have to use what i have here you can pull the clouds out i don't like that i really don't like that smoke <laughs> ah smoke png And see, it, it that lets you know that the background is already has already been removed. So there we go. Where is that cloud? I have that already. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have that already. I thought I did. Guess I don't. We're gonna have it now because I'll say okay, okay, so now you can change the color of smoke. It doesn't have to be uh the color you see it. See on the screen it's a dark gray. So we're gonna trace and detach it. We're gonna pull it out some of it you're not gonna get all of it you just kind of get what you can get see i got it here and trace and detach right so that basically just takes this box that you see um uh, from around it and it leaves and so here go the box right here so you can't see the box but see the box with the smoke is over here on the right side of the screen that removes it and you get to deal with this now as an entity all of its own so you go to the image effects, which is this um, circle, half circle, and you go to hue, and you can change the color of the uh, of the cloud. But why is not changing color? I don't know. So let me do it. Let me let me see. undo why is this not changing color of my cloud oh it's changing that but it's not changing the hue or maybe it is and it's just not changing it in the color scheme that I think it should change it okay I'm gonna bring one in that you can actually see it change the color of what it is I'm, I'm upset that that when that one didn't do it so let me let me be a woman of my word and show you that it can change the color of the see so if it's already blue or whatever it'll change it to different colors so you can make the cloud whatever color you want it to be this particular cloud doesn't want to be any other colors <laughs> we can leave it alone we'll leave it alone it's, it's fine i can use it as is i don't really need it to be a um a deeper color all right so we're gonna move graduate out of the way and we're gonna start to layer this okay so we're gonna throw in cloud stretch it Do it like that then you throw in some lightning bolts and I'm gonna, and let me clean the lightning bolt the the lightning up so I can just bring in just the lightning and not this gigantic box you can leave the box I just don't because sometimes the box the the box gets in the way of it may be covering something else up that you want to touch and you can't touch it because you have the box of what of covering up and it has to move everything out of the way just to get to the layer that you're trying to work with and I, just, I hate when I have to do that so now I don't have 
they got all this, all this extra stuff. When I'm trying to work with just this little piece. So, okay. So we put the, oh, wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, bring to the front. Always bring to the front because we're working from the bottom to the top. So now we got the lightning bolt in here at the top. We're going to bring to the front. We're going to bring graduate. So now you got the lightning bolt behind graduate. And look, it's starting to give you this effect. And then you bring him in. And you sit, bring him to the front. Keep making that mistake. Bring him to the front. And guess what? Now you have a whole design hold on let me make him a little bit smaller so he doesn't get caught in the the pull and tug of this so you got a whole design now that you've created let me zoom in and it looks like you photoshopped this whole situation and you have it. You haven't photoshopped anything. You just layered some components on top of each other until you created what you needed. I was like, so now that I'm to that point, right? We can add more lightning bolts. So. You know, we got this over here and we can uh, bring this lightning bolt in and it's already kind of sliding behind graduate and you kind of don't worry about it being outside of the, the the template because you're gonna cut that off you're gonna when you print it out you're gonna cut it off now if you want if you're like if you want a clean edge you can crop that out too you can crop it to make it fit in that spot I, I don't I really don't care to do that so and you put the lightning bolts on this side And then you'll end up cropping all of that out. Like you'll end up cutting all that out. And you've just created this amazing design. I'm going to show you how to crop it out, actually. I'm going to show you how to do it. So that, that's the way we want it to look, right? So far. So far, that's the way we want it to look. So I would take the background, duplicate it. And I will duplicate this. Mm, I'm pulling everything but what I'm supposed to be pulling. This is the whole the, the, you know, the layering thing I told you about. So if you want to crop, bring it to the front. We want it to look like this. Bring it to the front so you can get your positioning correct. And then once you do that, you know, bring bring the bottom layer now to the front. Because whatever's on top is what shape the bottom is going to take. So now hold on. So let me let me tell you how to do this because sometimes it works or sometimes it don't. So you just yeah. So alright, so that wasn't it. Cropper wasn't it. I know the guy was it and send this to the back. Hold on, let me do let me do it a couple times before I tell y'all which one to do. <laughs> there you go. You divide it. You divide it. Let me do it again. So you can see what I'm talking about. So you bring I told y'all to move it to the move the the template to the back. Nope, don't do that. Have your lightning bolt sit on the front. Select the back, the template in the back. Select the lightning bolt in the front, and then click divide. 
you're going to see the back of the football disappear. But if you move that piece of lightning bolt, it's going to be cut perfectly to fit now in this corner. See, see it's going to sit right there. Let me move this back. See, sit right there. Perfect. Now you don't have to worry about it being all outside the lines. Throw that away. Just throw that in the trash. Try to throw it in the trash. Same thing for the other side. We want it to sit right to the front. We want this one to sit like this. Do the same thing. Click divide. Pull that piece out. And now it fits perfectly into that spot on the football. Throw the wrist that you don't need away. That's how that is done. And it looks like, oh my God, she's done this amazing. No, no, I didn't. I just cut some stuff and put it on top. My layering, my layering is good. So as long as you have good layering, it, it your design will be what you want it to be. So now I can put it going on top of the E, going into the, you see how it's going into the G, you got the smoke behind it, you got him sitting in the front. It all looks like it works together, like it, this, this background was already created. No, I created it. Some smoke, some font, and some lightning from Google. That is it. That is all you need. And a photo. Alright, we're going to finish this up by adding his name. Let me see what else she wanted to go on this football. She wanted... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, see. let's go back and see what she said. Let so she wants to put Charleston Southern University and she wants his name so I'm going Okay. Okay. Yeah. She wants his name. And I guess the school that he's attending. So I'm going to put Eric B here on this side, which his name is absolutely perfect for what I want to do. Pick a cute font. Let's do yellow gold. Because that's the school colors. The high school colors. Here locally. That's the colors that they are. So let's do that. And then his last name is Aldridge. Junior. Perfect. So I get. It's, it's equal on both sides. So. And I just pick a pick a font. You see, this font actually makes it more condensed and smaller, so even better. And then that, my dears, are is the football. That is the slice of one side of the football. That is it. Nothing nothing overly um nothing too crazy and i'm just going to add a couple more um aspects to it just to, to spice it up and like i said you fonts make everything look really good and all you're doing is adding additional fonts let me let me add a color before i do that Offsets are, all, are also a really good thing. Do a do an offset, and it'll make it add dimension and really make a, a design pop when you add an offset.
I may stick this on this side and put class of 2020. That's a 2020. What's that? Oh, I forgot I got, was, was using, um, <laughs> I forgot I was using letters, uh, I mean, using numbers instead of letters, so now that changes things when you go back and try to use the same font, um, to, to try to use the same font. And it's like, no, this one is not cute. It's cute in number form, but it's not cute in the letter form. Not for what I'm doing, so. And now that I do that, I don't like it. So let's. I like this <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna keep playing with this a little bit all right so I like that okay that's basically the design on one slice of this football I will group this delete that I don't need that duplicate the slice I'm gonna do the other side use the other info I group this together and move this out of the way because that is done on to the next slice uh, let me do this first let me show you this first so bring back up to the front so as you see the majority of my good stuff is within this slice some of it is hanging out a little bit but it's okay that's okay that a little bit of it is hanging out I just have to be mindful of that when I'm when I'm getting ready to lay it on the football especially if I'm laying it where the laces are if I'm not laying it where the laces are it really doesn't matter but if I'm laying it where the laces are I have to be mindful of that okay second side I think I'm gonna attribute this to the school that he's up he's about to attend and he's going to Charleston Southern University so let's go to that Charleston Southern University logo they are blue and not really sure what this color is They are the Buccaneers. I will take this, I will copy that image, and I will sit this here. That may be important. Let's go back. That's the seal, that might be important. This looks like it's important. So this is what I do. I just really go and I look up the school and I find different elements that might be important to what I'm going to do and that I could potentially use. Uh, I really like this one. Um, I might just use this all together, like copy and this paste and watch this if I can if I can get it let's see can I get this in here right to the front you don't need it all let's, let's see what it looks like that is that is kind of awesome it's really really awesome right there I would want I want more of the K 
kind of more of the logo name. get it all and if I had bring to the front if I could get all of him in there that would be amazing There's a remedy to this. There's a remedy to this. We'll do it again. I want all of that in there. So bring it to the front. Duplicate. Okay. Show you something. And if you if you know what you're doing. You can you can get it right. That is, I'm gonna make it a little bit wider, just so I can get more of But I did get Charleston Southern University, so I did get the full name. I got pretty much the whole thing here, and this is this is what I go back and do. I go back, put a red border around this, and I go back and I make. More of the football. Bring him to the front. Then guess what? He sits right there. Now I have the school logo that he's going to. He's in it. Um, that's the school he's going to. You know, so it's it kind of all just gets in there. It's want to add some more lightning bolts <laughs> gonna add some more lightning bolts in there you can do that I really don't need that this this side to me is pretty much done he's going to Charleston University I got lucky with this one sit him on there really not too much more you need to do to him you can if you want to add an outer glow you can um, Oh, hold on. So, wait a minute. Before I can add an offset, I gotta actually pull him out.
pull him out of the shape that he's in. Trace and detach. And now he's free. Minus this boxy here. I have the boxy of the background. And now I can offset him. Bring the offset down. Bring it down a little bit more. Then I can say white. Take out the this. Soften that white a little bit. So it looks like a glow. It doesn't have to be white. It can be any color. Grab him and that. And there you go. If you want the bright white. Bring it back. There you go. So yeah, do that. Let me see, let me see what else I got here. I just want to try some stuff down. I know I'm not talking, I'm just, actually right now I'm just trying some, just trying different things until I Remember when I was talking about, about not being able to get something that you want out of the background? <laughs> there we go, finally. I want to crop. I want the smoke to the front to be in the shape of his offset. And so see how that looks. That's good. So like I said, you can do all kinds of stuff. You don't you don't have to just do you know the same things I do just think outside the box and just kind of do whatever you want to do and it'll it'll look good it'll you can make it whatever you want So that, my dears, is how I design the footballs. So now I print these on 11 by 17 transfers. So I change my paper here to 11 by 17 dark transfer paper that I get from Photo Paper Direct or PPD. And I usually order it off Amazon. I have ordered off their website. I hated it. Just kind of want to let you know I didn't like ordering off their website. For me, it's like it took too long and they didn't give me a tracking. So, but if you order off Amazon, it's great. So, um, and it doesn't take that long to get here. 
So with the silhouette, I can add, go ahead and add my registration marks. And I use silhouette and I swear by silhouette because I can cut 12 by 24. I can print whatever my printer prints, I can print 13 by 19. I, I think right now my, I have a printer that prints 13 by 19. So if I have 13 by 19 paper, I can set up my registration marks for 13 by 19. Unlike Cricut, which only allows you to cut in their parameters. It doesn't even matter if you have a 13 by 19 printer. They still won't let you, uh, their registration marks just doesn't read outside those. And to me, that was a deal breaker for me when it came to Cricut. I wanted to print things the sizes that I wanted to print them in. At the time, it wasn't even shirts. It was centerpieces. I wanted to do two-foot centerpieces. And they weren't offering me the capabilities of cutting out with two pieces. I would have to cut it and tape it together. And it, once I find out with Silhouette that I can, uh, with a Silhouette Cameo, I can print and cut up to 24 inches, I was done. I was done. I was, um... I was pretty much done with that um I don't think this needs to be this long I need to go find out I need to go get my football and actually measure it and t I'll tell y'all what my football measurement so if you hold on a second I'm gonna go grab my football and I'll be right back
struggling here. <laughs> struggling. Okay. So I got a Franklin football from Walmart. Five dollar football. Not really supposed to be regulation size football, but nothing really overly extravagant. And this one is from point to point. Eleven and a half. Maybe a little. A little bit more than 11. I would say 12. 12.25. 12.25. And from the top point, from the left to right point, I got 12 and a half. So 12.5. And then from the top middle to the bottom middle, which is the widest points, I have four and a half, a little over four and a half, but I'll go four and a half because we're gonna stretch it. I won't even do four and a half. I'm gonna do five. I'm gonna leave it at five because that seems so thin. And then if we need to cut, then I'll then I cut. We definitely gonna have to cut because that's way the what I have right now is way too it way too big. So I'm gonna need to make it at least five. So I'm gonna ungroup everything and change the background portion oh the background portion is 4.7 oh that's fine the actual background portion where's the rest of this curve from oh i guess this is just stuff hanging okay so this is stuff hanging outside of it. the actual background portion needs to be 12 and a half by 4.7 4. that's fine that's fine that's that's good good stuff okay we we'll group all this back together see I, when you have other elements that stick outside then it makes your diet the, the, the actual slice look bigger and it'll be bigger than what it is when you're looking at the, the dimensions on the screen so ungroup everything and just get the dimensions of the original piece of the template the original slice of the football make sure you only get that um this one is the same way i think this one's fine though i think you know, this is 12.5 and top to bottom we need it to be 4.7 And then that way, everything, we can make sure everything fits perfectly inside what we're doing here. Grounds and your offsets together. If you don't, if it, it, it'll be a beast. Okay, now, now that I've done that, I am able to get both pieces of this football in one spot on one sheet of paper. No flipping, no none of that, because I'm going to use dark transfer, so you don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is just print at this point, print. And uh, you can hand cut this out or you can uh, print and cut this out. It's up to you. Um, either way, I'm probably going to hand cut mine out just because it's faster. I don't want to waste time trying to re you know, do registration marks and all of that other jazz. I just want to 
cut it and put it on the ball. So I'm probably gonna just hand cut it out and take it. To, I have a Canon printer, uh, a IX6820. I think it's 13 by, it prints 13 by 19. Um, when you purchase my templates, I will put a link in the description. Um, it has written instructions and I think it's for my basketball one but it is the exact same way that I do the, the basketball the football the same way I do the uh, baseball softball volleyball uh, kickball what it best all the balls the same way I do all of them you know I don't think I can do a golf ball but I haven't tried a golf ball but softball baseball um, football, basketball, soccer ball, um, and I think I have a cheer horn too. I'm gonna do a cheer horn video. I haven't found only reason why I haven't done a cheer horn video is because I can never catch the 11 by 17 sticker paper on sale. So I'm going to test my hand at like some 7, 11 by 17 card stock or something like that, something else, and like mod podge it on or something like that and see. How that works because trying to catch this other stuff is just not happening I got some 13 by 19 regular paper I may just even try it with some 13 by 19 paper and see how that works we don't we're gonna try it so that's what we're gonna do all right so I will see you guys in the next video actually putting it on the football um, I asked my husband to send the football um, he hasn't done it as of now. You can do this without sanding the ball, but it lays so much smoother if you sand the ball. So we'll see by the time I make the actual application video, will he have sanded the football? And the answer probably is no, but we're going to do it anyway. We'll do it with it without it being sanded. All right, guys, till next time.